Well, good morning. I'm Father Michael, pastor of Our Lady of Consolation Church right here in Wayne, New Jersey. What a pleasure it is to be with you this morning. It is the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time, and the reading today comes from the Gospel of Mark. And Mark has the following to share with us. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? And Jesus replied, this is the first. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There are no other commandments greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying he is the one. There is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he had answered with understanding, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. No one dared to ask him any more questions. This, my friends, is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and so, one of my favorite gospels, for a very simple reason, it reminds us of the singularity of how we are supposed to be as a people of faith. Not how sometimes we are, but how we are supposed to be. We are supposed to love God with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. The problem, of course, is we are distracted. And oh my goodness, can we ever be distracted? The notion of all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our mind, all of our strength, that's, that's not something we can conjure up very easily because we have so many other things that compete for our attention. How do we give to Almighty God our full and undivided intention? But that is one of the reasons why we go to church because in church, we are in the presence of God, especially for us as Roman Catholics, the real presence of our Lord in the tabernacle as well as in Eucharist that's celebrated at the altar. That is for us the real and true presence of God in our midst. And when we're there, it gets a little bit, a little easier to summon up all of what we have and give it over to God in the moment. But the world is a different place. The world is a challenge. The world doesn't always give us that kind of time. We find ourselves angry and distracted and amused and, and all those other things that are part of living but they do take us away from purely living what this gospel tells us we ought to be doing. So my friends, I ask you to think about that in the coming week, this whole notion of, of what this is all about, which is the first, and it says, love our God who is Lord alone with soul, with mind and strength. And then of course, love your neighbor as yourself. Those kinds of things require an enormous amount of concentration, something that we sometimes are not able to give. So again, during the week, think about that and pray over it. And in your prayer, try to give over to the Lord all the attention that the Lord really needs and wants. And the reason is because God has given you life. God has given you hope. God has given you the people around you who you call family and friends. What great gifts God has given all of us. God only asks in return that even every now and then with heart, mind, soul, and strength intact, that we pray and reflect on that very special relationship that each one of us has as a true child of God. Take care, my friends. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time.